and deal with techno stress. But firstly, what is techno stress? Yeah, what is techno stress? Hi everyone, welcome to Talk This today. You know, when we started our channel, we had decided to talk to you about all the topics we are passionate about. Uh, give you our simple, you know, life hacks and tips on how we deal with different things and situations. Well, today's topic is one that we are both very passionate about and have touched upon that, you know, in our various episodes before. You know, in today's so, world, we are all dependent on some form of technology or, or you know, something related to technology, right? Yeah. Technology has really made our lives simpler and easier. That's what me and Simrit thinks, you know. However, so. however, yeah. with its great benefits and conveniences, technology also brings us a lot of new challenges, which we are facing in our, you know, daily routine these days, which, you know, we may or may not be prepared for. So in our modern world, the constant use of technology is having a serious impact on our mental and physical health. What do you say, Simrit? Yeah. And our social health, right? We're constantly oh. like, we're oh my god, we can't have a conversation looking at each other. Absolutely. Restaurants are full of people on their phones, checking their emails, checking what's going on, overload of information. So, yeah. so to sum it up, in simple terms, techno stress is the stress and anxiety caused by the negative emotions which arise due to technology. Now, this could uh -huh. be being overwhelmed with new technology, like, you know, when new programs or apps are put at work or just information overload, which is what our smartphones are causing yeah. or just simple stress after not being able to connect from or disconnect from technology. Like when we're constantly connected to technology, that kind of overload causes techno stress, whether it's social media or our emails or just our apps or our work related uh, stuff. So all that doctors and scientists have actually already expanded the list of symptoms which are tied to techno stress. Now, these symptoms include concentration and focus problems, productivity challenges, insomnia and panic attacks, chronic fatigue, depressive disorders and general burnouts. Also, we have to remember, we talk about it a lot more when it comes to kids. But what are we talking about for ourselves? Let's talk about ourselves. Yeah. And Simrit, this is this techno stress, which you mentioned is a, it's a directly that is visible to you. But, you know, there's an invisible one yes. as well. The all the, the all those electromagnetic waves due to Wi-Fi, due to these, you know, data connection. This this it's just these are indirectly affecting us. These are not visible, Under but they are yeah. affecting our sleep, our moods, our day to day life. You know, it's it's really, really very serious. So it sounds like we all need to just switch off and step away from all the laptops, iPads, computers, phones. Simple, right? Let's do it. Yes. No, wrong, Simran. It's not that easy. I'm sorry. It's not that easy. A study in 2022 right. showed that Indians spend an average of 7.3 hours a day on their phones. And oh that my is God. ridiculous. I understand that. <laughs> 7.3 hours a day. Yes, oh my and it's ridiculously high, man. In fact, one of the highest averages in the world. Can you imagine? Yeah, I believe it. So I think stepping away. Social yeah, so and stepping away from technology is not that easy, is it? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm talking of me myself. It's not that easy. But so, how do we do it? Yeah. Especially when most of us know that we are harming ourselves by all this use of technology. It's really, really hard, yeah. Simrit. Yeah. So I think what everybody is coming up with, and this is, um, there's some apps that have come up. Your laptops tell you what how much screen time you've had. I think we all know that we all have to set boundaries. Okay. Self-regulation is hard, but try to establish limits for how much time you spend on digital devices every day and stick to it so even before i sleep at night i try to keep my phone away i like to read talk to your partner you know keep your phone off so try not to check your social media at night if you you know set specific guidelines and times for checking your mails or checking your social media and put a cut off time to it it will cut down on the mindless browsing which we tend to do but it's all mind over like just mindless browsing so just make your mind stronger and set boundaries yeah, that's 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 absolutely right, Simrat, and it's a great point. But one way of reducing or balancing digital life is to take a break. 
Like you have to take multiple breaks during the day. It's just, these are the time management that you're talking about. I mean, at work, on your lunch break, put your phone away or try to talk to your colleague or if you're alone, take a short walk or read a book. You know, make sure you do these schedule regular breaks throughout the day to step away from digital screens and give your mind and body a rest. And use this time to engage in activities that help you relax and recharge. I've seen so many people at work step away from their computers to go out to the washrooms or get a coffee or just take their phones and start scrolling while they get the coffee or even go to the washrooms. And even if they're walking, they're on the phone or it's here or it's here. It's like that. Right. Yeah, right. and you are not getting a digital break like that unless you stop digital screens. So it's very, very important. It's digital break means digital break. You just maybe leave the phone inside the office and go out for a walk. That is a digital break. Yeah. And now being having these watches, forget about that also. That's again a challenge. Your yeah. <laughs> phone is not there. It's coming here. <laughs> so yes, it's... Yeah, well, it's that's what I've done. I haven't connected my phone to pick up the calls I, i'm like i don't need to know the messages on my i, I on my watch I, i've actually disabled that feature that's great that's great to. yeah that's yeah. great I, I don't need to know who's messaging me constantly so i think taking a break is really important and that means switching off all the design devices or just stepping away but one of the best ways to disconnect is to make plans with others like connect with the real world like what i call the real world i understand the digital world is real for others but for the sake of my discussion, I call it the real world, the 3D dimension where we go meet others uh, physically. The problem with technology is that unfortunately can lead to a very lonely existence. And this happens more with the younger, like people who are younger than us, for sure. Yet they give the illusion of having so many friends. And so many people who you know and who like who know you. But that's not true because that's all illusionary. Having yeah what was earlier like Facebook friends or Instagram friends or social media people or connecting and gaming with these people, these platforms are creating, you think, oh yeah, I have a friend in Ohio. And I'm like, really, have you been? No, no, I'm. that's my gaming friend. Like that's not, <laughs> that's not on a real life basis. But this is real, Namita, it's really scary. All these social media platforms work on the principle of how many connections you have, how many likes you have, and that's what counts as popularity. So your brain thinks, oh, I have so many people like it. I put up a post, so many people like me, and that's people of our age. But as you go younger, oh, that's I game key. with this guy on a daily basis. And, but that's not gaming like outside playing tennis with somebody on a bit. So balance that whole persona in the real world it's very tricky as as you get more and more addicted to the digital world you need to be able to separate reality like physical reality from digital reality so make an effort to connect with friends and loved ones in person i know you know back two three years ago like it was great to have these zoom parties and whatever but now you know even if it's for a 20 minute coffee go make that effort put your phone away okay. and it'll make it easier to disconnect just staying connected on the phone is not going to make um, you like, you know, just what's happening each other is not great enough. Building and maintaining relationships can help the feelings of isolation go away and create a good balance in the non-digital space. Right. Well, uh, that's right, Simrit. That's absolutely right. And, you know, it's not about that. You know, I like the technology when it's get you keep you connected with the loved ones like oh. video call. You you know, I know, you know, if they're not around you, you can video call them. You can see what they're doing. Like my kids love to talk to their grandparents when they're not here, when they're somewhere else. Yeah. And even in otherwise, because oh, you want to see, look what I've done. You know what I made, what I look my house. I've made this change. man. That's absolutely fine, which people really liking. But, you know, but it's not that you just want to live with that forever. You need one-on-one -on -one connection. It's just that it helps you connect it with a one-on-one -on -one connection with, with, your, with your friends and family. But you're going to make you invisible friends. Oh, that is my friend. No, that's not possible. So, so if you're if you're able to go next door to your moms, you'd rather do that than be on. Exactly. The right. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, you know, to remove any type of stress, one of the surefire ways is always to become active. That's my mantra always of removing my stress level, creating, you know, any type of balance in my life that obviously works for removing techno stress as well and creating that digital balance in life. 
whenever I'm stressed, I have too much of overload of computers looking at the screen. I just get up and just go out for a walk or I would just jump around or I, or if I'm at home, I would just go and, you know, go to the gym and do some workout, some weights, something. Yeah. And it just, I mean, I, it, it just when, when I kind of a little bit sweat and I see my stress is sweating out. <laughs> that's the yeah, you're right, you're right. yeah 100%. so it's very very important to maintain a healthy lifestyle that is very important exercise can help reduce stress and improve overall well-being and it can be of any form of exercise that works for you it can go to gym yeah. you can do yoga you can do swimming or anything all type of exercise gives you benefits only there's no harm yeah, in that yeah. what are the ways i think one can detox from the digital life is and this kind of ties up with the, taking the break or whatever is when we go on vacations when we get out of our system get rid of the unnecessary use of your screens so if you don't need your laptops leave them at home some of you need to check into the office and check your work bills even when you're uh you know on vacation so do it once or twice a day but as unpopular as this sounds switch those mobiles off and even if you need to be on them to stay in touch with somebody set times for that do you really need all those pictures all the time? Do you need to put those pictures of yourself on social media? Now, I know because I've been with lots of people and I know how it works. You take the pictures, but then you sit there on your digital media, fixing the pictures to put it on social media. Don't do that. Take the pictures <laughs> because that's part of the vacation. Take that time to enjoy yourself. Yeah. You know, don't Try to it's, breathe it's... in the surroundings. Um, just lay back. Enjoy your vacation. Soak in the local sites. Walk the streets. Don't dress up for social media. Dress up the way you want to. Don't exactly. wear that makeup for a week, man. Eat yeah. the local cuisine. Don't worry about your social media platforms. Do it for your soul. Do it for your family, your soul, yourself. Put yourself first. You're the main character in this life. People don't need to know that. You need to do that. And I you don't need to stay 24 7 you need to remind yourself that take a full vacation physically and digitally and mentally that's what i think i absolutely agree i absolutely agree and you know because we are the opposite simrit when we come back from vacation we're like oh my god we forgot to click the picture oh no i missed that simrit i forgot oh i i should have shown you that you know that but you I, know i, I actually have I have to interrupt you, Navita. Remember that group vacation we took last February where we stayed yeah. two nights in a hotel? And a yes, yes. We all forgot photographs. <laughs> the kids were, we completely, we went on a hike. We had, we were up till like five in the morning. We forgot. Yeah. It was such a vacation. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when you're connected, you don't need all that. You don't need to be connected to digital media. You're connecting to people. You're connecting to the environment, your family, your friends, whomsoever we, you are with. So be mindful yeah. of the content you are cons you consume online. It's not always the truth. It's not always you know what actually you know what the reality is. It's different. It's it's all all artificial. Whether it's some tips or tricks or pictures or anything for that matter, read about it rather. You know, just to understand it better, not like blindly following it. This can help help you reduce the feeling of this overwhelming stress. Oh, maybe you know, at times you feel, oh my god, oh maybe oh I'm doing it wrong. This person is saying something else, and I'm doing it wrong. Oh, I need to fix. No, baby, just check it out. Just just you know, be mindful. Not everybody is saying that. Everyone, you know, say ten people will say ten different things, but you have to. Yeah. You have to see what is right for you. You have to take your own call. You have to listen to your body be when mindful. it comes to yeah. 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 Right. Be mindful. Yeah. And especially, you know, with this information overload, remember to be very careful. I've seen many times when there is some natural disaster because of the internet, so many news, you know, so many pictures, many videos that comes about the incident. And not, not all of them are, uh, you know, the real images. They're all from different, you know, from different incidents, from different other uh, locations. It just and it's it's been labeled as that. And you, oh my God, this happened. No, and the, and yeah. this and talk about the negative news. Come on, guys. Like you, we just, oh my God, you know, this is this is what happened. This is what this person did. Oh, such a such a bad. So like, please check again. Google it. Find out whether this is not hoax. You know, and what's that leading to a lot of exactly? Issues. Yeah, a lot of. What so, you're consuming, you know, what your kids are consuming, what you want to follow, just just be mine. It's it's very important. So, in conclusion, all the technology is amazing, guys, and we all love our technology, everything. But it has and it has many benefits. All of us need to be careful and aware of techno stress 
and how to create a digital balance in life. So take breaks, yeah. set boundaries, connect with people in the real physical world, create offline connections. That's what we mean. And be mindful of the con con content you consume. Be careful <laughs> and always be aware of your own habits. Huh. Well, that's all in practice today. Hope you enjoyed our show. If you have more tips on how to create a digital balance, please do share with us. And we always look forward to hearing from you all. And if there's anything that you guys see you like about our show, do let us know in the comment section or you can email us at hello at doctorstoday.com and let your friends know where to find us. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to stay notified of our new videos every Friday at 6, 6 p.m. Thank you for joining us on Talk To Us Today. Remember to talk about Talk To Us Today. Keep smiling, yeah. keep laughing, smiling. <laughs> and keep talking. Make real connections, guys. See you guys next Friday. Bye. Bye.